goes it. Hope you guys having a great evening. Um, uh, just want to talk about the fact that you know, I just came in for the night and I see people are losing their minds over over the supposed gas shortage, things of that nature. And um, you know, I just think everybody needs to chill. <laughs> um, the fact that I see people with barrels and barrels gas i'm i'm actually glad i gassed up last week both my vehicles but um did not think people were going to start to lose their mind and have a panic attack like they have now but you know this is the world we're living in last year it was toilet paper people and the, the crazy thing is i could see foresee people fighting over gas now like you had the, the toilet paper shortage and the paper towel shortage and people were getting into fights all over not even just the united states but all over the world so I have a funny feeling that's going to happen again with the gas. Hopefully nobody lights a fire and, you know, and you see a, psh, I don't wish anything bad on anybody, but I'm just like, wow, um, this is where we're at in society right now. Um, if it's not one chaotic thing, it's another happening, you know, 2021. That's all I can say about that. It's just like, all right, this is really what we're doing. So... Just trying to put some good vibes out there. Just say to the people, hey, um, do your darndest to, you know, not get in a crazy fight. Um, if you don't have any major plans to drive any specific place, I would advise you to not do so. And, you know, I know I don't, so I'm not worried about it. But we'll see what happens. I, I wonder how it's actually going to affect, because if you really analyze it, you know, gas is a very part, important part of the economy. So just for people getting, you know, to and from work or, you know, from where they need to get to, from school, gym, business, whatever have you, any sort of activities and things of that nature. But um, I will say that, you know, you got to think about even at the stay at home economy, you still got all these delivery companies that have to get things delivered, you know, from your UPS to post office to your Amazon, you know, to your Grubhubs, to your Ubers, Uber Eats, you know, Lyfts. Um, DoorDash, so just think about that, you know, and then you have the ca- cost of gas going up, so then you're going to have the cost of p- services going up, cost of possibly products going up, you know, it's that inflation thing. Inflation's already getting kind of insane anyways, and you think about it, especially when it comes to commodities, uh, especially when it comes to food. So um, just imagine this happening even more so with gas prices going up and gas shortages and whatnot. Um, and it's crazy how this happened, especially given the fact that during a time where, you know, a lot of the U.S. economy has been opening back up slowly but surely. So it's impeccable timing. Like I said, man, 2021, what the heck? <laughs> All right, I can't put it any other way. It's just <laughs> one crazy thing after one crazy thing. <laughs> but anyways, just want to put my two cents out there. Um, everybody stay as safe as possible. Um Continuously do what you can do to make this the best year that you can because 2021 is over with, 2020 is over with, and 2021 is halfway over with. So, um, and then the people that are, in a sense, this gas thing is showing how the how selfish society really is because the fact that I see people going with barrels and barrels to get gas, I would imagine that you're going to see um, a cap on how much gas people can get since this state of an emergency just came out in the state of Virginia. And I'm sure it's going to be like that in the state of Georgia and North Carolina and South Carolina. I'm sure there's going to be, they're probably going to have to put like police officers at gas stations and, or security guards at gas stations to ensure people are just gassing up their car and they're not gassing up. Um, I don't know as far as the law goes, if they, from a legal standpoint, will they have to be like an executive order put out? Who knows? But uh, it's kind of interesting to see what's happening right now. And it's just like, wow, a lot of things coming to, you know, fruition. You never would have thought that that would happen, but it's happening. So anyways, uh, do a great three free things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great evening. And as, as I always say, make money moves or you will live broke like a fool. Take care.